1998, of course, you do the following. You get the lead in that film. And then fast forward to 2005, you just brought up Batman. So that was a good segue. You're doing Batman Begins. How does something like that transpire to where there's a gap and of, of the working? But then, of course, you still have the relationship with Christopher. So do you guys keep in touch? Was there a friendship? What transpired to get this thing going? Yeah, we still uh, we keep in touch. One of the um, really beautiful and, and touching things about uh, Chris and Emma is that they stayed in touch with all of us who worked on, on following. And for every film since Batman Begins, we've all been invited to the premiere. So we mm-hmm. meet up every couple of years and we go and sit in an IMAX theater and watch Chris's film before, you know, before anyone else sees it go to the party afterwards and, and meet up and chat and say, that was really interesting. <laughs> you know, how did you do this? And yeah, and, uh, and so we're, we're still in touch. And it's, it's a question of just sort of when I have, uh, when I have time and when he has time and when he has space for, to, to be able to, you know, to give me one of those uh, little roles. He, he's used his uncle a fair amount as well. Um, John Nolan was uh, the police officer in following, and he was in Batman Begins. Lucy was in Batman Begins, who plays the blonde in following. Um, and uh, I think John was in Dunkirk as well. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it's uh, it's nice to be able to, to, to meet up and, and jump back into uh, working with the guy again. Uh, it's just it's tremendous fun um, every time you go and set with him. It's a little peculiar to, to go back on set, and uh, you know, Chris doesn't have mobile, and he doesn't really use email. So, you know, all my sort of like conversations with Emma on email, and then with the casting director through my agent, and when you're going to turn up and stuff like that, and you go and do your your fitting in a sort of hotel in London, and then you just you know your car, his call times are ridiculous. So a car come and picks you up at 5 a.m. from your hotel, and you know you're bleary eyed, and you're you're in makeup, sitting next to John David Washington, going, "Oh hi," um, <laughs> uh, you know, at half past five in the morning, and then you're in costume, and you you walk on to set, and Chris is there, and it's 6:30, and he just comes up and gives you a big bear hug, like you know, nothing's changed. Awesome. So it's, uh, it's it's fine, it's fantastic. That's the trailer.